the grail piece that I did pick up, guys, is... What's up, guys? So, I'm back, and today... Today's a special toy hunt because I'm going somewhere I've never been before. I've heard about this toy store that, we're, that I'm about to go to. Um, I think I heard about it... I heard about it before the pandemic. I know it's an older a toy store and I know they changed locations, but they were closed since the pandemic and uh, Robert would always talk about it. And I'm finally gonna be going to this toy store. The name is Capes and Cowls. And from what I've heard, they have a lot of loose figures, a lot of older figures. So I'm pretty hyped to check this place out. Don't know if I'm gonna pick up anything, but I definitely wanna see what their stock is. And I wanna go somewhere new. I've, this is, again, it's an, I know it's an older store, but I've never been here. And this is in Fountain Valley. So capes and cowls, let's see if this place is worth going to or not. Let's give it a shot. I'm really excited to see some loose stuff and just to see some, just to see a brand new toy store. So at least for me. So let's, let's head over. Here it is, guys. This is the spot we're coming to right here. So let's, uh, let's see what they got. Again, this is a small spot, but it looks like there's a lot of like loose toys in there. So let's, uh, let's check it out. Dude. Yeah, definitely a lot of loose loose figures in here holy crap all right ask for permission to record in here oh man there's so much stuff in here dude look at all this i mean we got i don't know what we got down here we got some dinosaurs i don't even know what all these lines are from but holy crap oh man Dude, look at that thing. Tons of Star Wars. Let me go to Wide Lens real quick. Oh, that's Zoom. A lot of Star Wars stuff here. And look at down at the bottom, dude. There's a bunch of loose figs. Dude. Oh, man, I don't even know. If you know like, honestly, I don't even know where to start. Oh, they got some hot toys up here, too. See all this? I'm just gonna like scroll through everything just so you guys can see all the stuff. Loose figs. Oh, these are cool. The carded ones are pretty cool. Jeez. Look at all this. Imports. Some Rangers back there. Oh, they got some vintage Ranger stuff. Whoa. What do I see in here? This is Masters, a bunch of loose, Lucy's and Masters. Oh, look at that, Biker Mice, how much are these? $15, Biker Mice from Mars. Damn, that's more Masters. Oh, we got some loose Lucy's in here too. Joe's, it's a nice display. And then over here, they got some loose, loose vintage Joes. This is what I need, is a Slave One. I don't know if it's complete or not, but it's in a bin. They got some other loose Star Wars in here. Wrestling, this looks like it might be some DC stuff in here. There's some Legends, no, we got some Legends. Loose Legends, some Transformers. Old school Goldar maybe? I don't know, I don't know what that is. Look at the wall though. Dang, Electro. a lot of stuff turtles joe's oh my god they have a pumpkin head i want that i want that pumpkin head right there that one dude i want that pumpkin head the, the ash is pretty cool too hellboy figure i don't know what place that that is it's pennywise and look at all this stuff they have the old school dragon dagger Ooh, and you see all the Lucy's back there. Oh, they got some build a figure pieces of Killer Croc. Joe, okay, so let me finish up here. See, right back here, you can see some Power Ranger stuff. It's an old Titanus, old school Godzilla back there. I'm trying to see what I can snook at. They got build a figure pieces in that bin. See, there's more bins. It looks like these are all build a figure pieces. Like everything in here is all build a figure pieces. Whoa, vintage uh, TMNT stuff. Right there. That's a Star Trek. 
don't know if you guys can see that. Jeez. Legends. Some storm collectibles. Jeez. Turtles. Oh, uh, street sharks. I don't know what that is, but that's pretty cool. Turtles. Loose turtles. I don't even know where to even start from anymore. I got some NECA here. Pops. Oh, Mythic Legions. Keanu Reeves. Not Keanu Reeves. Johnny Depp. NECA. 25, that's not, that's not a bad price, man. Jeez. Transformers, a lot of Transformers. Bunch of Lucy's here. Jeez. Binoculars, no idea what that's from. Oh, look at these. Oh, uh, some cool Batman stuff. Oh, there's a Mongol. That's a cool Batman. That one, that's open, it says. They do have DC Multiverse. Look at all this. Some Lucy's down here. I don't know what all this stuff is in here. Oh, this is vintage. This is vintage stuff that's down here. Yeah, this. Cool. This is old school right here. I think that, what, what year is it? This came with CDs too? I have no idea. Batman. Whoa, I can see this area right here. Oh, they got some McFarlane's, the old loose predators in there, Kenner stuff. It's a Malbolgia right there. Predators, Robocop, Freddy. Some McFarlane there, Spawn. Aquaman. <laughs> Look at all this stuff, man. They got Mezco. Mezco up top, too. Oh, they have cards? <laughs> Accessory sets here. That thing's awesome. Cool. But yeah, I don't I, What is that set? I'm trying to like really look at everything and I feel like I'm missing like a bunch of stuff because there's so much stuff everywhere. Look at that, dark side, five bucks. I think this is like a hard one to come by too. Look at this build a figure. The blob. The thing is like it does happen. Like I've done the old Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is what people are going to want to look at here. This is all the freaking legends and uh, Toy Biz stuff. Sugar Man, build a figure, Compound Hulk, Smart Hulk. No, that's Joe Fix It. Venom. Modoc. Oh, look at that cable. Spider Man. Oh, this stuff, man. Lots of loose legends. Bones. Nimrod. Dude. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, for cards? Remember, it's Monday's days, I'll have Jordan in here and I'll have him there, like chopping up cardboard for like two hours straight. We'll play Damn. Back here. Cool. Too far. Jeez. You guys gonna go play today? Hulks. Yeah. One o'clock, maybe? Yeah. Corey has been silent, so is Sarah. So my boss's wife just said. Dude, that's, I've never seen this one in person. 25. <laughs> Not bad. It's a good one. We got him. They had a long week. Mayfex, Venom. Or is that no? It's a uh, SH figure. It's fifty-five for Carnage. Not bad. Death lock. Oh look at this. Diamond. Dude. Iron Man. Old movie Juggernauts. <laughs> Juggernauts. 
Sandman, this is like variety. Oh, 10 bucks. Not a great card, but 10 bucks like this. No, T3 is looking for these. Jeez. That fool really wanted to hire me, dude, when I was at, when I was at Arise. He's like, Ooh, oh, that Bane's he's awesome. ETRL, he's complete. Who got me these comics? Wow. <laughs> All that. Hello, give it collectibles. DC, UC. Oh, yeah, let me know which ones you got. That one, I think I got 20. Dude, this is a good one right here. Man. Let me see. Let me see if I got one right now. Oh, this Croc. 70 for Croc. The regular green Shenron? Hush. Look at all those, man. It's a lot. We got some card in the back. Mafex. Oh. This actually doesn't look bad in person. Looks pretty good. The Dark Knight. I don't think I've seen the Cyborg one in person. Oh yeah, all day. Pokemon pops all day. That looks good. That one six scale. What is the bike? Oh, uh, yeah, I'll take Jeez. that. Trying to see what else I can spot. There's just a lot of stuff like in here. There's some more NECAs here, too. They're actually pretty well priced on their figures. Lightsaber. Oh, look at that Godzilla, dude. The Mysterio right there. Look at that. Oh, they got some old box ranger stuff. Dude, there's like so much stuff here. Man. That stuff up there though. Dang. Kaijus. Man, the Godzilla stuff is like really impressive here. All the stuff that they have. Yeah, look at all the cards. Tons of magic. This. Bro, did the first one. That's why I'm like, good game. Yeah, I barely started it right now. I'm like, what are you Never play games anymore on that one. That's the beauty of it. Okay. Okay. Cap. Psylocke. Yeah, there's a job. You want to work 40 hours a week for Dumb and Dumber? Talk about that. Toad. There's a new one. The difference on that one. It's true, though. Jeez. I remember I was paying this one joke for 15 bucks an hour to sort cards and after three hours he like quit. Like, oh, I'm going to take this anymore. Wait, you said like, 50. 20 I would do it. I'd be like, oh, 30 hey, bucks, man. Not bad. Oh, I didn't see the stuff in here. Like, uh, There's a war machine yeah, over there. Do it and literally two days in he has a clip. 300, so it's not like it's cheap, cheap, but in this day and age, that's a deal for what they box. So it's actually a set that I do need. If you're gonna do model kits, you can't just have a little bit. You gotta go yeah. full gusto, you know? Oh, yeah. Like anything, like if you're gonna do Gundam or model kits or any of this stuff, you just have a little dabbling of it. It's not gonna be enough to bring people in. But you gotta have a shit ton. Then that's a whole bunch of space you gotta use up. So if I end up expanding out the store or doing something like that, I'll probably end up carrying them. It won't be so. Uh, South, or South Carolina in like mm. two weeks, so I'm trying to like have everything squared, squared away. Oh, yeah. You want to do cash for this stuff today or credit? How you want to do it? I'll, I'll see the amount. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll throw your numbers in for both. You know what I mean? 15, 10. I think that's a good price on that one, though. 25, $10, the vintage one. It's both of them right here. Look at that. Jeez. That's a good price, too. I see an old turtle in there. I don't know what Raphael that is. Pretty cool though, but it's like a mixture of things. It's not just turtles. Some DC stuff. Oh yeah, some more turtles. Bin right there. I see Vern. I don't have a Vern. I need a Vern. Is that a playset? Jeez. Oh, look at the back 
room. Do I wonder what's back there? Dude, it's amazing, amazing here. Like there's so much stuff I don't have like enough time to to look around, but there's so much stuff here, man. Capes and cowls. This is amazing. Like it's huge. Like stock, just cluttered everywhere. This is the kind of toy store I like where there's just like, it's a small space and there's stuff cluttered everywhere. Like I would have to be here for like two hours just to get the feel of everything in here. And then I don't even, I wanna know what's in those. The back room, he's got bins full of stuff. But I mean, even behind the um, the register, there's a bunch of stuff. Like back there, tons of Star Wars. If you're into Black Series, there's a lot of Black Series here. A lot of loose um, legends too. Crazy. Crazy. I came back. This is the next day back at Cape and Cowl Collectibles. They're still closed. They should be opening very soon. But I'm actually picking up something from here today. I don't think anyone's in here yet. There's nobody in there. But yeah, picking up something. Working late at night, you hear and see all kinds of weird shit. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. That's look at that. This. Eddie Furlong with his bike. This is the NECA one. I want the vintage one. Hey, Bob. It's cool, but actually, I should be kind of cool to have it hanging out. It's a good one. I kind of do. It looked like a. Uh, is this Visionaries? I don't know what this is. Glacius Crumb, I probably think. Yeah. No idea what this one is. I'll do this. Ooh. Black With the monkey lizard 65, does that work? I don't think this thing's crazy. Chairs. Frippy. Don't they have to, supposed to have these guys in the Mandalorian yeah, again? Price on this. I would love to have the turtle to go with this. I don't think it'll be. I don't think it'll be in here. Rock. I see another Spider Man. It's a movie one. Jeez. It looks nothing <laughs> like them. Oh, dude, here we go. It's freaking Dino Riders in here. Damn. That's crazy. The owner was talking about he has some box ones. This is a cool Superman. Mary Jane. Ripley with the comic. Don't know what this is. The Apone. Predator. There's actually a lot of stuff down here. Is this who I think it is? No, I was going to say, is that with the Will Wheaton character? This is new. Oh, we got what's his face? Spin Spinster? Oh. This is Robocop. This is from Robocop. It's got those cap. Uh... Visionaries. I think this is Visionaries. I don't know. Bishop. Is this ghost face? It is ghost face. I don't know if that's another Dino Riders. I have no idea. I don't think so. He's a uh, Darkwing Duck. Oh, this is cool. Do I have this one? I think I do have this one. Whoops. It's a turtle. I think it was like a kid's meal thing. Looks like that's it. Got a sentinel in here. A 
legs on this one are really, really weak. You can feel it right off the bat. Sentinel, not Sentinel, Apocalypse in it, but there's a Sentinel right here. Ooh, Juggernaut, Omega Red, Killer Croc, there's some Batmans in here. Pieces of a Sentinel. I love this angel, that's a good angel figure. Nightwing, it's like a bunch of randos in here. Mr. Sinister. All right guys, so I am back from Capes and Cowls. Again, I did two trips over there. Place is located in Fountain Valley. I went back to pick up, a, uh, the second time to go pick up an item that I was like, I just needed. It's a grail piece. I've been wanting it for quite a while. There's a lot of grail pieces I'm gonna try to hunt down. You guys will start seeing them in, in, in videos. Like there's, I'll make a video soon on all the grail pieces I'm trying to pick up so you guys can see you know what exactly is on my grail list because I throw I like I said there's a lot of grails to me that I need and that I want the Batmobile 89 was one of them as, as you guys have seen if you're you know up to date with the videos anyways went to Cape and Cowles again long story short Robert told me about this place and it, it's been open for years the owner's cool as hell it was closed during the pandemic they just opened fantastic place especially if you're looking for loose figures and vintage figures tons of marvel legends tons of transformers tons of dc stuff lots and lots of bath pieces there guys just loose all over the place there's so much cool stuff in that store like i wish i could have been there for a longer time just so i can film the second day i went which was today i was talking to the owner there real cool guy so i didn't film much while i was there but definitely definitely a really cool spot um Gonna be going there def for sure. Gonna be going there a lot more because he's got a lot of vintage stuff that I want and I'm a vintage collector. It's got some really good prep prices, guys. So this definitely gave me like the, the, the toy vibes that, you know, you watch in like, uh, and like when people, you know, shop, go toy hunting in different stores or out of state or whatever and you see how stocked they are with vintage stuff just loaded crammed in together in detail cases or in bins that's that's the stuff i love to see that's cluttered where you just can't see like you, there's just you have to go over things like 10 times because you find something else that's hidden in that area i'm rambling on but the grail piece that i did pick up guys is the soda toys pumpkin head figure this guy had it for such an amazing price and it's a grail piece. It is rare. Trick or Treat Studios is making a version of this, but I needed this. I, I have several items from Soda Toys, the Jeepers Creepers, the very rare, the Thing set. I have that set. I have had that set for years. The one item I need, and it is another, another grail piece. I need the Legend scale, this and this scale by Soda Toys, an 18-inch scale, Lord of Darkness. You guys remember that movie with Tom Cruise back in the 80s, played by Tim Curry? This is a grail piece. I'm, I'm opening it. It's not going to stay in box, but this is factory sealed. Factory sealed, guys. So this is a piece that I've been wanting for quite a while and happy to have it. Soda Toys did a lot of really cool figures, even Street Fighter ones too. But that is my grail piece, guys. Very, very cool. So happy to have this. Um, again, if you guys are local, check out Cape and Cowles in Fountain Valley. Let them know Seha Man sent you and or you found out about their, their store because of me. Also, guys, in the comments down below, wherever you guys are from, let me know where you guys are from and what is this toy store like this in your area. Name the store, you know, go show, show some love to local toy shops in your area. Thank you guys for watching. Again, there's a lot of more sh surprises coming down the line on this channel and plus interviews. If you guys don't know, we're gonna be interviewing Robert the Scalper. I did a video where you guys can ask him a question, so check out the channel and you can leave a comment down for Robert the Scalper. So that's just the beginning of interviews coming soon to the channel. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you guys for all the support. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you soon. Later.